deck the halls with boughs of holly. Tis the season to be jolly. Hi guys, it's Shell with Creative Shell Bear. And today is the fifth day of a collaboration. And this collaboration is, it was inspired by some ornaments that May May made it, uh, received. Uh, this collaboration is made by you, recreated by us. There are four other people uh, involved in the collaboration that started Monday and I am uh, finishing up here on Friday. So let me show you what I have. This was um, inspired by Nyoka. And what it is, is what she did, is she just put like a plastic name badge on a, um, like a die cut. And then she just slipped in her picture and then just embellished it. That's how simple this um, ornament is. So let me show you, you know, let me show you what I came up with. I didn't happen to have any like really heavy cardstock or any um, uh, die cuts, you know, really cute die cuts on hand. So what I'm doing is I'm just repurposing things that I already had recycling. Uh, this is a cereal um, box and I, sa I always save those because it's just a really good thick chipboard. It's not, you know, super thick, but it's perfect for, for what we need it for. And what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to cover this with some paper that I had in my scrap pile. And I'm just using this um, dual tip glue pen. I really like this to cover uh, chipboards and stuff because it just, you know, the brush, it has a nice brush and it just covers it so um, thoroughly. So I'm just going to do both sides and I must admit, yes, I love cereal with marshmallows. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side and then we're going to let this dry. Now, if you have, you know, um, die cuts or something, by all means, use those. I didn't have any, like I said, I didn't have anything that would work and I thought, well, I have something I can make work. So that's what's so great about uh, crafting. You know, just make it work. Can use stuff from your stash. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that aside, actually putting it under my um, mat here. Now you do need a bag. Let me show you one. I already have this one. It's already pretty dry. So we're gonna cut this one down, but you need a bag. And I, like I said, I didn't have any name badge uh, holders, which is what she used, but I have tons of little um, plastic bags that I bought years ago off the internet. Let me show you which one I'm gonna use. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna use this one. So I'm just gonna kinda measure it and I'm going to cut this down to about the size that I need. So, let me grab my bag. So I'm just going to cut it so I have a little border all the way around. Can you guys see this? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to cut it so that I have a little border all the way around. So it's about four inches. So I'm going to cut it four and a half. So I'm just cutting, uh, straightening out the edges right now. And then I'm just going to aim for about four and a half. This one's a little bit, going to be a little short. So this will be the top and the bottom. And then I want this one four and a half. Four and a half wide. And that's perfect. And this will be on the back. See the little um, ho ho ho. So you can use, you know, pattern paper. Uh, whatever you use on the front essentially will be covered up. 
So what I'm going to do, since I have red, I'm just going to take one of my red uh, Distress markers and I'm going to go around the edges of it just to kind of finish it off. You know, just being really careful. So it doesn't have, you know, just a sh stark white. You don't have to do this step. I just really liked it, so. Okay. Okay, and I've already decided which one I want my picture to go in. So here's my bag. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut it down just shy of my square. Okay, so I got my bag cut and now I'm just going to use some double stick tape and I'm just going to stick it on the back of the bag so we can just glue it down that way, stick it down. Like I said, this is a very easy ornament, but it has such a huge impact. And I've been playing around with it all day, so I can't wait to show you what else I've come up with. Or how I've used it, you know, for other ornaments. Okay. So we're just going to glue this down. Kind of line it up with double stick tape. And now we just want to put our um, image in here. So what I did is I picked this really beautiful image from this um, Graphic 45 unique uh, paper crafting and uh, it's called Time to Flourish. But it not that just gorgeous paper? So you kind of just want to figure out, you know, what part of the paper you want to go in there. I would like some of the, um, I would like some of the poinsettias to show in my Paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of measure this and I want it kind of snug just so that it has a, you know, a really good fit and I'm just going to kind of cut down some, some of the paper and I would like, you know, at least a little bird in there too. I think that would be really pretty. So that looks, that's about perfect. So I'm just going to cut it down to the little white right there. Now you can certainly choose any, um, you know, any image that you would like for this. And there we go, isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Okay, so I picked my image. I'm just going to estimate about where the um, middle is, and I'm just going to put my hole right there. And then I'm just going to use some green ribbon. I have this green ribbon, and we're just going to embellish it. Isn't that a really cute idea? I love this idea. Thank you, Nyoka. Okay, and then I'm just going to what I like about this ornament is it would be perfect as a tag for your packages also you know and it's just stunning just going to decorate it with some stickers and stuff. Sorry about that glare. It's a little glary there. Let me 
me show the stickers I was thinking about and I think would go really pretty. Aren't these some gorgeous stickers? I picked these up at um, Walmart in Texas. So I don't know if every Walmart has them. I've never seen them at our Walmart. But with the um, classiness and stuff of this one, I thought these would go so pretty. So I'm just going to pick... I really like this little pine cone. Ooh, I'm going to use this one though. This one doesn't have like a ribbon on it. I think that will work better. With our poinsettias. Isn't that pretty? I love this and I just love this idea. I'm going to put this right up here at the top. Kind of right there. And then I'm still going to put another little um, um, ribbon right there. But And then I'm going to flip it over. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put something right here first. You know what? Let's put this other. This other uh, pine cone. I just think those are so cute. What a simple ornament. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm going to turn it over and <clears throat> my ho 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 is upside down, so I'm just going to cover that up real quick. I forgot to check it. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let's use this really big red pine cone. And we'll just kind of turn it on its end. Kind of cover it up like that. Remember, there's never any mistakes in crafting. Just a chance for a new design element. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put this up here. If you wanted to, you could come, you could put the date, you could put Merry Christmas, you know, whatever your heart desires on the back. Okay, and let me finish it up. I'm just going to use some red Baker's Twine to kind of finish it up. And I'm just going to do a little bow. And I'm just going to go ahead and just glue that down. Oops. If you wanted, you could wrap it, you know, around the green ribbon. And then just snip your little strings. And because I happen to have a few. I am going to finish it off with a little pine cone. Isn't that cute? So it kind of goes in with the, um, you know, the other pine cones and the things. I think I have another one. Here it is. there we go. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so I got those glued down. What do you think? I think it turned out so cute. I really like this. It was super easy. And let me show you what else I came up with. I showed you the one that I did earlier that has a big old Santa in it. And then on the back it just says Merry Christmas. But when I was thinking about uh, the plastic sleeves I thought you know what would you put in a you know a plastic sleeve and I thought the perfect thing to do a, in a plastic sleeve is a picture so you know how they always have you know baby's first pictures and stuff like that baby's first Christmas this is my brother in 1969 the year I was born 
Isn't that cute? And then on the back, I put his name and uh, this was at Easter 1969. And then, of course, I did my sister, too. This was her hospital picture. And I put her name and stuff on the back, too. But wouldn't that be so cute for, you know, baby's first Christmas? And because it's in the plastic sleeve, it would protect it over the years. And then this is me. Now, you have to admit, that is the cutest baby in the world. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> this was when I was two months old. But look at the little vintage, you know, I say vintage, you know, 40 some years old, 40 some years ago, these pictures were taken, but aren't those cute? And those are definitely going on my tree this year. And I may make enough for my um, mother and dad and, you know, my sisters and sister and brother. So what do you guys think? I think they all turned out really cute. Again, um, you know, this was a collab I um, ornament sent to Mei Mei on May May Made It, and her information will be down below, as long as well as the other um, four participants. These guys are very talented. They have done beautiful work, and it was all inspired by you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the inspiration, and you guys have a great day. with boughs of holly Tis the season to be jolly